This is the Friday Night Thunder School Board Show. Dennis Weaver, Josh Peterson, Keith Kinzer, the strawberry cake eater, Brian Markham, Danny Catalano, and Rob Clutter. Rolling with you until 11 o'clock. We're going to hit the Had Motors School Board, but first let's go visit our good friend with WLIJ Jacks Radio in Shelbyville, Rusty Reed on the phone. Rusty, it's a rivalry game tonight against Tullahoma, and it played out like a rivalry game too, didn't it, my friend? Hey, I tell you what, no doubt about it, man. The, uh, the 92nd meeting of Tullahoma and Shelbyville is one to go down in the books tonight. What a, what a great game. You hate to see somebody lose. In the end, I'm glad it wasn't Shelbyville, but um, just a great game on both sides of the ball. 92nd meeting, and, and has Maupin been at 87 of those? Maupin has been at 86 of those. 86. Yes, 86 of those. He was he was covering a basketball AAU tournament on, on the rest of them, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Rusty, uh, you guys got down, and we were we were laughing here in the studio because Coffee County was playing well, and we thought, is this going to be the week of the upset? Were you were did it? Looking at the score, it's hard to tell the momentum of the game. Were you a little nervous about the momentum of the game, or did you think, okay, we're going to get our feet under us and, and come back? You know, Dennis, we really didn't know what to think. I mean, you know, all we've heard is, you know, Tullahoma not that good, not that good, and. And I'm going to tell you what, Tullahoma's got a good ball team. Coach John Holly, he's going to figure everything out and get those kids on track. But, yeah, it did. It, it, you can see that it took the wind out of everybody's sails, you know, kind of a, a lot of shock and awe uh, in the way that Shelbyville was on the sidelines, the way we were. Uh, really didn't know what to think, you know. Of course, we did some things that hurt ourselves early in the ball game, and Tullahoma just took advantage of it and capitalized on it. Uh, fortunately, Shelbyville came out in the second half four possessions and four touchdowns um, to uh, to hold on to that four-point win. Rusty, kind of uh, talk us down the stretch a little bit of that one because we were, like Dennis said, we were kind of following the score and Tullahoma had went up, I think, 35-32 to 32 with just a, a few minutes left in it. So walk us down the final couple of possessions and, and how Shebbeville was able to pull that out. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, of course, uh, Tullahoma went up at 35-32 and, um, left Shelbyville with about three and a half minutes on the clock. And that's a lot of time, you know, in, in football. Of course, you know, Shelbyville with three timeouts uh, as well. Michael Eddings was a big workhorse for the Golden Eagles there down the stretch. Uh, a couple of great passes by uh, Cunningham, but then you got Michael Eddings that, um, who finished the night with over 150 yards rushing. He was a big workhorse that, uh, that last drive. Uh, both with a few receptions and, and just straight running the ball off tackle. Uh, Eddings is such a, a great runner that he's able to see the field well, pick up good yardage, and, of course, get out of bounds when he needed to. Uh, of course, he got the ball down inside the uh, five-yard line first and goal from three with uh, really under a minute to play, winds up second and goal from the two. Um, Tullahoma takes the timeout. We come back very next play, uh, score on the uh, very next play after that timeout by Tullahoma and uh, kick the extra point, fortunately, to make it a four-point uh, margin for the victory. All right. You guys have got uh, that uh, team called Open next uh, next Friday night. Uh, you, you're going to head off to uh, Hawaii or or uh, Paris, France or something? Well, I, you know, really we thought about we might try to go um, scout some of their practices and see how they were for next week. <laughs> Okay. All right. Sounds good, buddy. Uh, uh, we good we, we need to do a scoreboard update. Good luck with that and let us know how it goes, okay? All right. I appreciate it, Wade. Thanks for all you guys do. All right. Take care.